after that kind of Philly special type play there? Yeah, it's pretty much what you said. You know, it was the Philly special. Uh, you know, I, I thought, you know, looking from my perspective, I thought Kendall did a heck of a job just being able to get the ball out. Um, you know, when you bring it, you know, bringing two guys off that edge, that's just, they had a good call against it. Um, we were hoping just to have an end and be able to act like we're zone reading them and then pull it off. But they had a couple guys coming off the edge. Kendall did the best he could to get it out. And you know, I tried to punch it in after catching it. It was a good call by them, good defense by them. How you work on something like that in practice? A couple times. I mean, never full speed this week. Um, we didn't really have practice, but it, you got to work on it a couple times, talk over it a couple times, and you know, execute it when you go out there. How were you, if at all, by the shoulder? Um, I would say the second drive was the most I had felt it. Um, felt a little funny. I had had it happen to me before, and just needed to go in and get a little shot in it and come back out. And you know, no way was I going to stand on that sideline with what it was, shoot it up, and then come back out and give everything I got. Drew, you, know, you guys have obviously given yourselves a chance at seven and six. Uh, you know, set up to be where you wanted to be. Um, what's the feeling now that obviously what you were playing for is, is out the window? Um, obviously, you're upset. Um, you want to be playing for the playoffs. Um, but like I've said many times before, we're professionals too. Um, it's our job to prepare like, you know, it's your last game ever every single week. You know, prepare your butt off and come out and represent this team, represent yourself, represent the coaches, represent Colorado, whatever it may be to the best of your ability. And that doesn't happen unless, you know, you keep a good spirit throughout the week and you push out the negative stuff. Sure, we're not playing for the playoffs now, but there's still a football game to be played on Sunday and that's our job to go out and play it. Drew, Vic uh, talked about quoting him, we can't seem to find a rhythm in our offense. Why? Um, I think we had a pretty decent rhythm all game. Um, you know, we moved the ball really well. We had a couple 70-plus yard drives. Um, maybe the rhythm comes in the red zone. Um, maybe we, we do need to look at some of the things we're doing when we get a little closer to the red zone. But I was proud of the way the guys that were playing, maybe even some of them for the first time, uh, Dalton gets hurt. Moody's got to come in. Cameron Fleming's playing right tackle. I was proud of the guys that came in and played. Sure, um, you know maybe there's a little bit lack of rhythm, but you also got probably five, six guys out there that normally aren't in the flow of the game. They're normally coming off the bench or not even dressing out. I was I was proud of the way the guys that were in there fought their butt off until the end. We just got to figure out how to finish the drive. But you know, a couple 70-yard drives isn't isn't too bad to me. Um, it was kind of like, it just surprised me for a second. Um, I didn't really feel it at first, you know, come off the sideline after that drive. And then I was like, oh, it's it just staying a little bit. And then after that, I was like, all right, let's go look at it. And if anything, let's just get a shot in and come back out. Hopefully we can miss minimum of one drive. And sure enough, that's, that's what we did. When you don't make the playoffs, is it necessarily a bad season? Yeah. Yeah, I, um, you know, that'd be like any sport, really. I mean, you, in the NBA, you play to get to the playoffs. In the MLB, you play to get to the playoffs. The NFL, only thing that matters is the playoffs. Um, yeah, it's disappointing. Um, you can do really good things throughout the year, sure. But your main goal is to make it to the playoffs. So um, technically, we didn't do what we wanted to do this year. Tough game, tough game in the run game again this week. Did, did they you know, duplicate some of the stuff last week? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'll have to look at the film to see that for 100%. But um, credit to that defense. I mean, you know, they have been banged up, injured, had a couple guys out. They were full throttle today. Um, they had all the all the guys back, and um, you know, I thought our guys up front fought their butt off. And uh, I'll have to watch the film to see exactly how they were doing, what they were doing. Personally, do you feel like you've taken steps the last couple of weeks and have improved your game, have grown in your game? Do you think, not the offense as a whole, but you, do you feel like you've shown that? Me personally, I feel like, you know, 
my number one goal is to win a football game. Um, and, you know, taking care of the ball and not winning a football game and a quarter will get you a donut. I mean, there's really not much that, you know, not winning the game gets you. I feel like, you know, but personally my play is, has gotten better. Um, I think I've showed strides in certain areas that I needed to show strides in, but um, doesn't mean much to me if we're not winning a football game. Yeah, it, 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 to answer, I think where you're going is that, yeah, it does make it harder because of the chemistry we have in there. I mean, we're all extremely close. We all fight for each other. We all wanted a super successful season for us. So when that exactly didn't happen, yeah, it hurts. It doesn't necessarily hurt for you. It hurts for Kareem Jackson. It hurts when I look at Justin Simmons. It hurts when you look at Lloyd Cushenberry, who missed his first snap this year because of COVID. He's been busting his butt for this team. There's just a lot of guys that you know I hold close to my heart and wanted good things for them to happen this year. And you know it doesn't, especially as a quarterback, it, it hurts you for sure. Sure, there's so many fans live and die Bronco, or leave Bronco blood. A lot of fans travel out here. I mean, it's almost feels like sometimes you have a, a home oh, problem right here. But there's a lot of fans back home that have gone through a lot this week. Um, what would you have, what would you say to them right now? Yeah, if there's one thing that, you know, I can give back to them and, you know, and, and advice is just, you know, there's bad things happen. There's adversity that you got to go through. And um, I think if you attack it with, you know, a full spirit and with the ones that you love, like I said, the couple of those guys, Lloyd Cushenberry, Kareem Jackson, as long as you got the people you love around you, um, you know, there's a little extra courage I think those people can get. So keep your loved ones close. Keep this team close for me personally, and you know, do everything you can for the people around you. Uh, we'll see. It, it's pretty numb right now, so we'll we'll, we'll find out. Did you think about checking checking out of that play the free snap? Was the question mentioned pressure that you saw? Um, that was a personnel that we you know, don't necessarily run very often. Um, if, you know, if we were, no, no, no.
what's the tone in the locker room with the losing season again in, in the playoffs? Is it, is it pretty empty in there? Uh, I mean, it sucks. Um, you know, I, I, I don't, it's, uh, it's tough, man. You, uh, you know, you put in um, so much work and to go out there and have that type of performance all around is, uh, you know, it's tough. Um, I don't even know if I can put a, a, a word on it, um, you know, in terms of how guys are feeling. And uh, now I don't mean to be short, um, but it just, um, you know, it sucks. On a broader scale, you guys had some really nice moments of success. You got to a crossroads where everything was right in front of you. But at the end of the day in this league, you end up in the same place really you've been for the last five, six years. How disappointing is that for, for you? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's extremely disappointing. Um, I think, if, in my opinion, I think. Sorry, I don't. I think we played. Uh, you know, we just didn't play comp complimentary football. Um, I think the first time we played, you know, the Chargers, exactly what you saw. Um, you know, defensively, we were able to, you know, get after Herbert in the pocket, and um, you know, we scored a bit, had got him behind, and then we were able to play complimentary football. It's almost the exact opposite today. Um, you know, our chances where we had some stops, um, you know, we didn't get them. You know, like uh, that one uh, Eckler caught in the flat. You know, I missed the tackle, and he took off for I don't know how many yards, put him in field goal range. Those are the plays you got to make, um, you know, especially when you're – especially myself. Um, and, it, those, you know, those are the things that, that are frustrating. You know, things are already not going well, and when a play comes your way, we talk about all the time, you know, you got to make it. And, uh, you know, that's frustrating, whether it's – you know, the one play you get or five, you know, you got to make them. Find ways to win more than you lose. And that's just what didn't happen today um, more times than not um, in all phases. So what, was this, what was this week like with guys going on the COVID list? You're not sure who's going to be available. Kind of what were the last couple of days like? And, and how did you see some of those guys that had to fill in respond to that? Yeah, I mean, that's the league in a nutshell. Um, I think other teams have dealt with that this year. You know, we've been fortunate before this to – you know, not really have too much of that going on. But um, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know what other guys got up here and say, but I don't use that as an excuse. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you come in, you're, you're tasked to go win a football game, regardless of what it looks like. You know, we dealt with this last year. Guys know what it looks like. Um, you know, we've got some new guys plugged in, but for the most part, we know how to handle that. And so I, I, you, can't, you can't use that as an excuse, um, in my opinion, um, whether you had you know, practice all week, you didn't, you had to meet virtually. The, the league's all about adjustment. Um, who can handle adversity? And unfortunately, we did not handle it well in terms of today's game, not the prep for the, out the week. Today's game, uh, we did not handle that well. And um, that's what's uh, frustrating. Question of this team just not having enough talent or is it something else? In your mind? Uh, I don't think, I don't think it's uh, not having enough talent uh, by any stretch of the imagination. I think, um, Everyone in this league is talented. You know, it's it's how do you how do you there's a there's a certain barrier, um, you know, that I've noticed that just we haven't gotten over. Um, and it's it's when it comes down to it, you got to find ways to win the close games. There's going to be some games where like you know things happen, the ball doesn't roll your way, whatever. But the, when the games like that we have a chance to win the close ones. Those are what matter. So now at the end of the, you know, now at the end of the year, there's margin for a little bit of, of error, right? When you put yourself in a corner like that and you don't find ways to win the close games, you know, that's that's when things start getting out of hand. Um, so, I mean, we've been in close games, uh, obviously not today, but throughout most of the season, and it just, it, we just didn't win them. And um, I think that I'm saying all that to say, like, we got the talent, um, we just, haven't put it all together. What yeah, extra game this season? And it, you're, we're real deep in the season now, and you guys were just still in it up late December. Um, do you, how do you do the season? Is it kind of strange that so many teams are in that same position that so close, knocking on the door, eight, seven, seven, and eight? Is this a strange season too? Um, 
You know, it's strange in, in the fact that it's new. Um, I think that's what makes it strange, one extra game. But I wouldn't say it's strange to see like a bunch of teams kind of in the mix because, you know, that's, that's the league. Um, everyone's talented. You know, everyone has the ability to be beaten. Um, and um, I think, you know, that's, that's, you see that week in and week out. You know, you see a team that you already write off before the game happens, and then they, you know, they come out there and they're playing a heck of a game, you know, finding ways to win the game. Um, and uh, for us, man, you know, I hate to sound like a broken record. Um, once again, I apologize for being short. I just don't know genuinely what else to say. It's frustrating. I, I, I don't know how to come up here and, and say, like, you know, this is this is what happened. This is what we need to do, and we'll find more ways to win. I mean, we just aren't winning, um, and that's what's frustrating um, about it. So, with even all the frustrations, you got one more week with Patrick Mahomes and Chiefs coming. How do you shake that frustration off and get ready for that? Yeah, I mean, that's the league. Um, you know, I've been saying that too. But you win or lose, you know, frustrating or or not, you gotta. Put that behind you after you watch the film, and uh, you got to move on to next week. Um, and I think that 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 just puts things in pers into perspective. Um, you know, that's one of the the you know that's one of the beauties of playing is like whether you had a good or or a bad game, there's another one next week. Um, so obviously after you know next week, you know you see what it is what it is, and you'll see where you're at. But um, you got another opportunity. So to close out the season. You know, you got one more chance to really define, um, you know, as a team, what it's going to look like moving forward. Um, and that's, that's how you got to take it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I would say that, you know, it shows improvement from last year. Obviously, last year, late in the season, we weren't even really playing for playoff contention. Um, but it also is disappointing, honestly. Um, we got to figure out a way to get into the playoffs. That's the biggest thing. Um, it's kind of a step stone, right? You get into the playoffs and you focus on the Super Bowl, things like that. So, um, I mean, all the focus is on us. We just got to... We got to figure out how to uh, win these games. So, does the, does the overall disappointment cut a little deeper because you were three and zero and you were six and five compared to the first two years here? A little bit, and I mean, um, in my opinion, we started off three and zero. We should have been three and zero. I felt like we had a, you know, a good team, a better team than the teams that we were playing, um, and then we got against some tougher teams and. Um, we we got some, we lost some. So the biggest thing is like, you get again, you get in some of these games that are tight games or games like this, and that we we feel like we should win. We got to pull those out, and uh, it just feels like we haven't we haven't answered the bell um, in that aspect this year, and um, that's on us. That's on the players. We gotta we gotta figure out how to uh, how to do that. So you had some good drives, some seventy plus yard drives, but still only thirteen points. Kind of what's the disconnect between getting yards and not being able to cash in and finishing with an ultimate game. Yeah, the disconnect is scoring in the red zone. I mean, I think we got down there three times. I don't know. You, I might be wrong in this, but we got there three times and didn't have a touchdown. It was kind of empty drives, maybe a field goal. But 
Um, I think that's the biggest disconnect. We we got to score in the red zone, not not field goals, but touchdowns, and I think that's really important. And uh, we didn't answer that bell uh, this game, so that's the biggest thing. The first meeting with the Chargers, the offense seems to be uh, clicking a little, a little bit more. What was the biggest difference on today's game? Sorry, can you repeat that? that on the first game, the first meeting with the Chargers, uh -huh. the offense uh, seemed to be clicking since the start. What do you think was the biggest difference on tonight's? Uh, we just didn't play as clean um, tonight. We uh, we had some mental errors. We had some uh, formation errors. We've had. We, I mean, we had some errors tonight, and uh, we got to clean that up. We got to have better communication, better everything from top to bottom. So I think that was the biggest thing. You run, you run that gadget play at the goal line. How much of a momentum shift was it that it didn't work and? It, it didn't work? Came up yeah, that's a tough one. Um, it was there. It was it was open. It was a well designed play. Um, I was more focused on the two plays prior. Uh, got stuffed in the in the red zone. I mean, on the t I think it was on the two yard line. Um, some people, I mean, you kind of look to that that gadget play, but I look at the two plays before that where we didn't punch it in. So wasn't good enough. Wasn't good enough. Frustrated during that timeout. Mm -hmm. uh, was, there, was there something that got you upset? We didn't convert. <laughs> we, I mean, we got until fourth and two, and we started down there on first and first and goal from the two yard line. So, uh, to me, that's just that just doesn't cut it, and uh, that's on me. That's on all of our guys to uh, to be better. So, um, it's motivating for me. I'll I'll go back to the film and see what I can do better and. Uh, and try to fix it this week. I'm not gonna, you know, lay down on the rest of the season. We got one. We got one more game with the Chiefs, and we're gonna be looking to win that. So, thank you, Noah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Jonas, were you, were you the one with the helmet today, calling the defense for you guys? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was definitely a little different, but I think as the game went going, got going on, I think I got more accustomed to it. And I think that it started flowing pretty better, a lot better. What was it like going going through a week of basically no practice? I say there's no excuse, but what was it like this week, given what's after the roster? I mean, you go into the game with no excuses, but I think it was definitely a little different with um everything virtual, with everything on Zoom, and we had a few walkthroughs, but. We didn't really have much practice, but you know I think it was, it was pretty difficult. But you know we got to overcome it. You feel like after that, that first drive that you guys had kind of found a, a rhythm a little bit defensively in the first half, and then kind of what changed? For sure, I would definitely say after that first drive we kind of settled in. Coach started getting you know getting us in the right position. He had some right position before that, but I would say you know we started getting settled in, things like that, and everything started flowing better. Uh, they went seven of thirteen on third down. Uh, I think it was they had good execution. I think that was the big thing for them, just calling the right plays and executing the right way. How much just of a springboard has this been for you to, to kind of get in these last three weeks, um, you know, potentially another chance next week to kind of get your feet wet? It's been huge for me. I, I'm, I'm not taking any opportunity for granted, and I love every opportunity that I get that the coaching staff gives to me. But that I'm just happy that they trusted me with this position. Thank you, guys.